What is the latest thing that's happening right now? Google Discover is popping off for a lot of websites. So what the heck is Google Discover? How can we use it to rank higher, get more traffic to our website? Because ultimately, we need traffic to make money, right? Now, this is Lily Ray. She's an extremely good SEO. She's been doing this a long time, and she put together this article two or three years ago on what it takes to rank in Google Discover. Now we're gonna use some of her tips, some of her tactics, cause they are still viable, plus things that ChatGPT can do right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to Bonsai Mary, one of our websites, because we have a big problem. Although the traffic is good, let's look at six months, we have a problem because some of these articles from the helpful content update over here have fallen off the face of the earth. And we're gonna to try to revitalize them and get some Google Discover traffic. Now you might find this interesting because this is the why behind the thing. Why do we care about Google Discover traffic? And the reason is, check this out, this is Spencer Halls of Niche Pursuits. Um, now I've had four days in a row and yesterday top $2,700 in earnings from display ads alone. Why? So he was around the $1,000 mark every single day, right? That's good money. I've had a massive spike in Google Discover traffic and it double, almost tripled his income. That's why we care about this stuff. So now if we want to rank, Lily Ray says have a mobile friendly website. Number one, use unique high quality images. Unique high quality images. We're coming back to that one. Align your content and meta metadata, uh, publish content about popular topics, Google trends, right? A trend, trend in things. Work on your EAT or double EAT, focus on entities. That's a really in-depth one, focusing on entities. We'll touch on that. Become a knowledge graph entity. I mean, this is like deep level SEO type of stuff. This is why we do topical authority, create buzz with content distribution, periodically refresh content, embed YouTube videos into articles. She says your YouTube videos and try web stories. A lot of this is like deep level, very good SEO tactics, but then we have to put a little salt and pepper on top, a little buzz, and guess what? ChatGPT can do really well with this. Now the Google Search Console graph is looking good for this website, right? That's a good trend line, we're going up. We're gonna go over what's going well, we're gonna go over what's going not so well. And if you wanna really dive into the weeds on how I'm scaling businesses right now, websites, check out this masterclass. This is pretty insane how fast we can do it. Things are changing, it's faster, it's more efficient than ever before. But let's go to Ahrefs right here. This is bonsaimary.com, so this website, right? We have a lot of new rankings in the last you know, couple days. All these are new, do you see here new? Woohoo, that's great. But we have some heavy hitters that were lost. And one that was lost is this one. It was one of our best, at least best ranking articles. And this is kind of you know a lazy type of article. I could definitely do better. Now let's remember the chart from Lily Ray. So have a mobile friendly website. We've already accomplished that. We're using Astro Pro theme on WordPress, easy peasy. Number two, use unique high quality images. Let's dive into that. So what I have going on here is chat GPT, create an image for this care tips when purchasing a philodendron white wizard. So I'm thinking to myself, let's look at the article here. This is the philodendron white wizard and we pushed two YouTube videos. I think it's two, right? Big deal. There's no unique images whatsoever. And guess what? Some of these, this is what's crazy. Some of these articles are still getting picked up on Google Discover despite not having any good images. But if we want to do better, I want to revise this article, the words on the screen, as well as the images. But out of the box, you know, these images are great, first off. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Although the words usually mess up, the words usually mess up down here, like they spelled philodendron wrong. I try to say, don't use words, right? But that could work for me right there. But if we want to get even better, and I, and I was thinking care tips, but yet again, the words, they kind of stink. If we want to do better, we need to have the aspect ratios that Google Discover typically likes, right? So the aspect ratios are wider. It's wider than what you're used to. I think it's 16 by nine. Let's ask, what are the typical aspect of Google Discover images? This matters a lot. You want bigger pictures. This, this is something that you need to focus in on. And so it printed out these ones and I'm like, hey, look, can you just revise them and make them a little bigger? And it did, it did. So it says, yes, yeah, 16 by nine. So at least 1200 pixels wide. Focus on that. Now what we've done, see above me, these ones right here, 
are the images directly from ChatGPT, but I've renamed the files. You need to make sure you're renaming your files because this matters for SEO. So what are we talking about? White wizard, a diagram, beautiful foliage, I don't care. Just make it somewhat unique and then Google will know it's never seen these images ever before. So what we're doing now is uploading the pictures. One, two, three, four. I mean, Dolly, some say it's unlicensable, like you can't use these. I don't know the legality of all this, so keep that in mind. So be very careful here. But we're going to use this for demonstration purposes. We have this one here. The title is here. The alt text is here. Um, we can add a little bit of spice on it. So it says field engine, white wizard, beautiful foliage in front of a window, right? I mean, you can do this. Um, it might help a bit. So anyways, we're going to select that as the featured image for this post. Let's do a little bit of revise. And so the goal here is to revitalize this article. It's a little bit of whiplash. So look here, this is the um, impressions for this specific article. See page right here? It's this specific article. And this definitely got hit by the helpful content update. And rightfully so, because this isn't the best, you know, this isn't the best article. We're going to do a little bit better here in a second. So we're going to change the tie, uh, the H1. Um, we're going to just make it simple. Philodendron White Wizard Comprehensive Care Guide for a Stunning Houseplant. Works for me. So we're going to bold some things as a stunning plant. Boom. Great. Um, it lives in this kind of family. Bold it out. It lives to two to three feet high. See how I'm just picking out some things pretty easily. I can do this. I can put a little background here to make it, you know, um, pop out when it comes. This plant blah 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 so you know my brain is going i'm working we're just working through this it doesn't have to be rocket science right so we have this guy talking that looks nice but what we could do well we could take him out of here and in place of him what we could do is say boom right here add image let's go here where's my images goodness gracious add image let's come here media library so what is a pretty one this is a pretty one i like this and just like that we can make it centered align center um alt text uh, cart, uh, let's just say image of uh, philodendron, philodendron white wizard diagram, whatever. Now, um, I don't like however, that's a tale of, uh, of chat GPT, right? So you could, you could make this. So the point is, we're going through here and we're just going to spice this up a bit, right? We just want to make it a little bit better. Let's just keep going here for a second. Look. You can come here, background. This is Astro Pro theme. It's it's not, this is not rocket science. We can update the article. Let's click here, view post. And all of a sudden we have a beautiful featured image. Ooh, and it's optimized. Look at that. See how it stands out? That looks way better than what it did, like way better. And it takes two seconds. Like I said, this is not rocket science. Now something else before we go live with this or revise it rather, you know, I have Yoast SEO plugin, very simple. This is the SEO title tag. You need to change this thing. I mean, this is a good cue for Google. Philodendron White Wizard Care Guide. Let's say um, the ultimate article. I don't know, something cheesy, right? Keep the slug the same, same. Um, learn how to care. So care for your stunning white wizard, da, 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 and more. Great, that works for me. And once we have it, I'll show you what it looks like once we get through this thing. Look at this. This is, you know, five minutes of work and it looks way better. Things are popping out. My eye goes to care tips. I feel comfortable. Do you feel comfortable? Tell me in the comments. This thing looks better, right? It just feels better, like it actually is a real article. But in fact, this is auto blogging with just a little bit of a hybrid approach coming through here. So what we're gonna do, like let's just go to the bottom. It's a massive article, all right? We're gonna grab this thing. We're gonna push it over here. We are going to, what are we gonna do? This is Bonsai Mary. We're gonna say inspect this URL and we are gonna request of Google to request indexing. Now it's gonna test if URL can be you know, indexed. So we're basically forcing Google to reconsider this. This is a very aggressive approach. So you need to be careful doing this. Some people take it best to just wait back for HCU helpful content update to go through. Some people are more aggressive. This is an experimental website. So we are gonna be hyper aggressive. So these first three we have accomplished, a mobile friendly website, high quality images, and aligning your content with metadata. But what's next? So check this out. Focus in on entities. What is an entity? And become a knowledge graph entity. So with plants, right? Taxonomy of a plant. It's very easy to accomplish this. So look, this is the sitemap of Bonsai Mary. We have 432 or 39 URLs of which 137 articles on philodendron. 
right? Philodendron, genus species, right? That's an entity, quite literally an entity, a thing. Philodendron is philodendron. And we are the experts of philodendron. Why? Because we're talking about every stinking one and how to care for it and all of these things. That's how you become a knowledge graph expert, topical authority. Those are synonyms. Uh, these things really, really matter if you want to rank higher on Google. Now, we've only scratched the surface. And if you want to learn more, I think you'll like the auto blog and masterclass a lot. There's tons of value there. We create articles faster, more efficient than ever before.